Good afternoon, this is Bruce McConnell with Locomotive Systems Training. How are you folks doing today? Uh, I want to depart from company just for a minute here or two. Um, there's a kind of a public announcement I want to make. Uh, we're going to try something a little bit different. Uh, I've talked to some folks and uh, an idea was put forth that perhaps we could put out a uh, class out in the real world uh, to whether you're a major railroad, class one, you know, intermediate railroad, class two, class three short lines, uh, you might be a railroad museum, uh, or you uh, or might just be an independent contractor that uh, uh, is looking for some additional training. Uh, what we thought we would do is open this up, and what we want to do is offer a regional class. And we're going to do what we're going to talk about is we're talking about a training class, and this is some registration information. Uh, 26L basic airbrake class, knowledge based, which that means it's five days in the classroom. Uh, it's all classroom. Anyway, what we want to do is, uh, if we get enough folks to sign up, we would uh, notify you by region. And if we get enough people to, to sign up for that region, we would send out notices. And then we would come out and then we would hold this class for that week. Uh, like I said, we're going to start out with the basic air brake class. It's a five-day class. Let's go ahead and go to that for additional information. Uh, it is, uh, it's a five-day class. But it's broken, the class content is broken down into four areas. Component identification. These are the actual components that make up the air brake system. The component function. You know, good to know the name, but if you don't know what it does, then the, kind of the name is kind of, uh, kind of a, a moot point. So we go over component identification, component function, then we tie that into the air brake circuits, and we actually get a pretty good understanding of how it all works by movement of a specific handle, or a specific valve or a specific component will cause X number of things to do in that circuit to either apply or release train brakes and locomotive brakes. And then we spend the last day on air brake troubleshooting. So it's a pretty well-rounded class. And if the interest is there, then what we want to do is we want to hold classes four times a year to start. Uh, one in March, one in June. Of course, the next one will come out be September. And then also one in the early part of December. We know the holidays are showing up. but. You know, if the interest is there, by golly, we would certainly uh, consider doing one during the month of December. Anyway, it's a five-day, eight-hour-a-day class, plus one hour for lunch, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So 8 a.m. to 12 noon is the first segment of classroom time. Then we'll take on one hour for lunch from noon to 1, and then from 1 to 5, that's the other four hours, total of nine hours, but actual eight hours of classroom instruction each day, Monday through Friday. Um, so here's what you do. You go to our website, and let's go to that now. It's got all the information on there. You'll need to go and look up the price, uh, everything on there. And just www.lst-ca.com. Remember, that is not a number one. There are no numbers in our website. No numbers in our web address. It's www.lowercaselst-ca.com. Once again, www.lst-ca.com. So go to the website, check it out, and if you're interested, give us a call, send us an email, we'll get you signed up, and if we get enough participation, we'll notify you in advance, and then we'll set up a class, and we'll learn some really cool air brake stuff. Thank you very much, and have a safe day. See you soon.